Hey folks, welcome to Working with Slider Components. We're going to talk about the Jumbotron Carousel. Let's just take a look at what that is to start with. Okay, here's a demo template we're working with, and here's an example of the Jumbotron Carousel. This is a straight bootstrap um, component. Basically, it takes some text, a button, it takes an image, or whatever content you can put into uh, HTML, and it slides it from one to the next once you activate it. So there's a little button, click on that, it's going to slide to the next uh, slide display a picture. In this case we use some, some sort of a cutout picture here. You can use a regular picture or you can use some sort of a cutout object. It'll look uh, good either way. Um, text and a button. Right, You can have as many of these as you want. Great for advertising products, that sort of a thing. And of course a little button where you can link your visitor to a particular page that talks a little bit more about that information. Okay, This is the before. Here's the after. Here's what we've done. We've sort of tweaked it a little bit replace the image, updated the buttons, um, change the picture out, and as you notice in this particular example here, the, the size, the background size actually changes as the image size gets bigger as well. So it accommodates for larger images if you want to use a somewhat larger image, and when a smaller image scrolls onto the screen, as you can see the bottom of the page sort of sneaks up a little bit there, and uh, there we go, expands down to allow for larger images. So pretty cool in that respect, so you can have some bigger and smaller things mixed together. So we're just going to talk about adding and removing slides, changing the text, changing the button, and changing the image. All right, so if we jump into our editor and our library, sliders, and our Jumbotron Carousel folder, we'll open up that Jumbotron Carousel page. When you look at it in the design window, you see a picture or if there is a picture, it may or may not be a picture, but you, there's a picture, title text, some paragraph text, and a little link here. Sign up today, that blue link represents the button. Then you just scroll back down the further the page, there's another image, heading, paragraph, button, etc. And all you have to do is replace the image, change the heading, change the paragraph, update the button. If you want to add more slides, switch to code view, Scroll on down, grab an existing slide, they're commented so you can see where they start and where they end. In this example, slide 3 and slide 3. So if we want one or two more slides, we would copy slide 3, put our cursor below the existing comment tag, hit the enter, give ourselves a little bit of space to work with, and we'd paste it, control V on the keyboard. I like to change the uh, comment tags right away so at least I know if I'm ever in code view where where I am or what I'm looking at. Okay so that's really adding a, a slide. To remove a slide just select the entire comment tag with all the information and delete it with uh, uh, with your, the delete key on your keyboard there. We're going to keep that in there for this example though. Now changing the picture, the caption, the text pretty straightforward from this point on. Uh, what we're going to do is import our images and like I said, the cool thing about this particular um, component is it will resize, the, the background of the page will resize to fit. That's the way it's designed. The, the carousel is a full, it sort of takes the full width of the page up. So there's usually nothing around it to impede its uh, moving up and down. Or the, it'll just push the content below it further down on the page. Okay, I'm just going to jump into my assets folder that I created here. And I've got the... Uh, um, slider images and then I've got my uh, parallax and my carousel images in here. Okay so I'm just going to pick a few of these ones right here and uh, drop them into my images folder right here. Just like so. As you can see we already had some some default images in there that we've created to you know, act as placeholders for your own content. Right? It could be a like I said, a cutout image, or it could be something like a, just a regular rectangular image or a square image, right? You can get as creative as you want with those. But the process for updating each slide is fairly straightforward from this point on. It's, it's just the regular tools you would have in your editor. To change a picture, double-click the existing picture, the Browse button, go to the Library, Sliders, Jumbotron Carousel, and the Images folder. Select the image you want to use as a replacement. We'll use this one uh, right here, Jumbo 1. Click Open and OK. Now to make sure this is responsive, in other words it, it scales nicely on smaller devices, double click on the image again, go to the Appearance tab, deselect the Specify Size. OK, good. To change the heading, this is my preferred method, I click somewhere on the existing heading, I click the H1 tag and type New Heading. For the paragraph text, same process. 
I click somewhere within the existing paragraph text, go to my quick tag selector, hit the, the first comment tag that pops up, which is the P class of lead, and new paragraph here. The reason I do that is because I want to retain the P class of lead. It gives it a little bit of extra styling in the page. For the sign up today, I right click on sign up today, I select hyperlink properties and I would uh, browse to the page I want to link to and then change the button name. Numo stuff and click OK. Then I repeat the process for the next slide. Right? Image, header, paragraph, button. Image, header, paragraph, button. I'm not going to repeat that. I'm not going to demonstrate that any further because you've already seen the, 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 the method for updating that information. And really, as far as the Jumbotron carousel goes, that's really all there is to it.